is the campground. We are here. You could do this huge hike, but we don't have time today. Uh, but we are on one of these campsites here or here. I think we're at, like number nines, I think, around here. But the mosquitoes are bad right now. We thought there would be a little more tan because it was cold, but nope. And we're pretty sure we saw a very large bear track, bear paw print. Maybe there's one in here or it's somebody's big dog. I don't think I've seen a dog print that big, but. Don't see any in here. No. If I see it again, I'll make sure I videotape it. This way. I think we had pretty good sleep last night. I think we woke up at quarter to ten. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, it's just so dark in the van, you just keep thinking that it's like six o'clock in the morning. Yeah. But uh, we were told to stop by Pancake Bay, check, check it out. We, we definitely have been here a long time ago. But when we got to the campground last night, as we drove in, there is that huge vehicle. Uh, looks like an army vehicle. And uh, so this morning when I got up, I heard the guy get out of his truck. So I wanted to go over and say hi and tell him that he wins because he has the coolest vehicle ever. <laughs> and uh, so by, when, by the time I got there, he was getting in his vehicle and his wife came out and uh, talked to me. And so the guy's name's Rooney. They're both from Germany. They actually had Germany plates on there and they are traveling around North America for a year. And uh, just don't wanna hit that garbage can. It's right there. And I think I'm off the road, good. So uh, yeah, they're traveling six months in Canada, six months in the United States. And uh, that gas tank on this side holds 600 liters of diesel fuel. So we calculated out probably it, it's, it costs over $1,200 to fill that up, depending on the gas price. Because it's around, two, it's always, it's been over $2 for the last little while. So it'd be like 1200 bucks plus every time they filled that up. But we figured that they could probably make it right across possibly Canada on one tank, but it's it's such a big vehicle. I don't, his gas mileage must suck. Yeah, you'd, you'd think that as well, because yeah. they're hauling so much gas as well. Yeah, they're hauling the gas plus the vehicles Yeah, is like a tank. So maybe, maybe I'd love to know how many, how many kilometers they could get off that one tank. That'd be so interesting to find out. Yeah. And cause this, this is about an 80, 80 to 85 liter tank. But 600 liters, geez. And we got 600 to 700 kilometers per tank. Anyway, you can do the math. <laughs> Let's go check out Pancake Bay. Let's go. Got a little amphitheater here. Lots of seating. Little powwow going on. Fresh drinking water. It's about 12 degrees Celsius, but the wind's definitely Dropped it down a little bit. Yeah, off the cold, cold lake. It's cold lake. Sandy shores. Yeah, that's uh, I think it was going to be like some type of a pancake-shaped rock type shore. <laughs> that's why they call it. Yeah. Like it looks really shallow. Yeah. 
Yeah, definitely here is shallow. But beautiful little bay here. We've got a big shelter over here for people that want to I guess have a large gathering and uh, a lot of picnic tables. Yeah, this is the day use area. Oh, right. Fill waters. Get rid of garbage. Okay, yeah. Get rid of garbage. So I'm not sure where we're going to stop for lunch. What we have planned? Zero plans. Into the Duff holder, uh, and it took the full like three to four liter jug. And then of course when we started the car, the engine light went off. So we were totally under the impression that that fixed the problem of the. Uh, the engine light being on but now it's back on again and it came on just after the car had a little little bump and it, it's like there's a bit of a transmission problem but it, again the vehicle is under warranty so I, I phoned from Calgary and uh, made an appointment nobody in Calgary could see us nobody in Winnipeg could see us for like days or weeks so we made an appointment uh, with uh, the Barry Mercedes-Benz dealership and uh, so I'm gonna keep that. Yes, when I, I was actually gonna phone them after we turned the car on, after we put the DAF in. I was gonna phone them and say, uh, we don't need it anymore because if that's what the problem was. But then now it's back on. So I'm, I think it's a transmission issue. Plus that was another problem. Again, never owned a diesel van or truck that needed that component to it so nobody told us we needed it until one of you guys awesome people let us know all right next stop i think is lunch okay <laughs> There it is, our breakfast joint. The Breakfast Pig Badass Eatery. We are in the Sioux St. Marie area and all the locals call it the Sioux. And apparently this place is an amazing place to eat at. So Carol found it, let's go try it. Reader's choice best. Oh, look at this place. Consecutive six years. Fantastic. Good find, Carol. This place is great. A lot of pig oriented stuff in here. I'm gonna check this menu. Carol found the one thing on here that is just an absolute treasure right here. The Mother Clucker, 17 bucks, beer battered chicken thighs on mini waffles, poached eggs, classic hollandaise. Nice. They do have a lot of cool eggs, Benny, but Benny poutine. Unbelievable, let's go wide. There he goes. You can pause that if you want. Check it out. Go online. Check out the rest of the menu. Korean chicken or pork. Pancakes, waffles, crepes. Carol says I'm chosen what she's going to have. 
my goodness. I could I could build a whole new channel just on this place. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna get the waffles. Just the straight up Belgian waffle? Yes. And fruit on it and stuff or um, you, just butter and maple syrup. Ah, uh, nice. Sometimes the basics are the best. That's what I've been craving. Yeah. Water. Water and uh, coffee, please. Thanks. Oh, wow. Mason jar water. Cheers. We checked it up before we got here. Oh, yeah. smart. 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 I always do that too because it's too stressful to just come in and not know. Hey, yeah. okay. good for you. I can't decide if I want the chicken on top or not. Okay. Um, are you feeling more like super sweet or like are you feeling like you kind of want some like salty? Like, I kind of want breakfast. Okay. Instead of chicken. Okay. But I'm here. Mm -hmm. I should try it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the chicken is really good. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> All right. Would, would I be able to get the chicken, like, um, not the spicy syrup? Not the spicy syrup. Or the chives? Just syrup? Yes. Yeah. Just yeah. like regular syrup? Yeah. Oh, that would be great. Thank you. What is the most ordered thing on the menu? Just out of curiosity. Honestly, just yeah. the basic pig. That's just like the basic pig. Bacon, yeah. and, okay. Or the hangover is pretty common. Yeah. Too, which is just like waffles, eggs, bacon, sausage. Yeah. The one thing that caught my eye was the mother clucker. Okay, yep, yep. When well, my wife read that to me in the car, I'm like, okay, we gotta go there for that. Mm -hmm. So you wanna go for that? Yes, please. Beautiful. Very cool logo. We got some black coffee happening. I've been putting this whole holiday trip, I've been putting cream in, and 10% is good. They have 2%, but I prefer this. Let me know what you like on your coffee. Oh yeah, this makes it so much nicer. So mine looks pretty good, but yours looks as good or better, maybe. And that chicken on top. Is it boneless chicken, or did they say? Or? I'm not sure. I think it is. I'm hoping. I think so. And you got that, that butter almost looks like it's like maple butter. Yeah. This looks like, like there's something else to it yeah. than just straight up butter. Yeah. I don't know what it is. Yeah. Well, you gonna pour? Oh, no, 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 you're different. <laughs> good. Good. Good stuff. It always falls apart. How's that brown butter? Are you enjoying it with it or would you prefer regular butter? It's good. Yeah? yeah. Something different. It's something different. Again, I've never tried it before. That's right. It just gives it a little taste. I would love one piece with some syrup on it, please. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I'd love to come back and just do like a full waffle plate or something. Yeah. I wonder if when you do just waffles, are they big waffles or are they always you know, mini waffles? Just this bacon. Yeah. 
As you can see, I get the clean plate award. <laughs> Carol's still got a few little morsels. doodads. Mm. Morsels. Morsels, yeah. Morsels. But if you loved the waffles. I love the waffles. That's right, you loved the waffles. That's even better. And the butter was a new thing. Yes. Pretty good. And you liked it. It's good. Typical syrup. Typical. Nothing special about it. But you asked them not to put the spice in the whatever that spice is. Yeah. And the chicken, you're not a big chicken thigh person. You prefer breast meat over thigh meat. So Carol tried it. Didn't like the fact that it was dark meat. So if they had put white meat on it, it probably would have been aces. But the, it was crunchy. It was super good. <laughs> I, I really enjoyed the chicken. And for me, there's so many pass through here. I might actually drop by here just to have this again or to try something new on the menu because the waffles were perfectly done. The chicken was super crunchy and juicy. Uh, it had a little bit of a little bit of a spice to it. Carol didn't sense that in it, but I did on mine. The eggs were uh, perfectly done, nice and runny. And the home fries, the way I had them done, for a little bit of ketchup, a little bit more pepper. Don't need any more salt on those because they were perfect. Now it's time to drive home. I think it's another seven, eight hours of driving. Oh boy. So let's pay for all this amazing food. Get home. I wish we could come back tomorrow and have another breakfast. What an awesome breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Because I don't think I'm going to eat anything else for the rest of the day. I'm trying to keep cut back on calories. But, uh... Oh, yeah. Long ride home. Long ride home. Second last gas stop. How much will it be today? Diesel, 229. Almost 80 liters. Time for a time lapse. You guys ready? Here we go. Right, guys it is quarter after 10 at night on saturday we just got home and made it home safe and sound after two weeks of traveling all the way over to bc doing the bike ride and coming all the way back saw lots of animals we saw grizzly bears black bears um moose a, a, a lynx ran across the road Ooh. or or um yeah a bobcat one of those two i couldn't see his ears so i couldn't tell but they both have the same kind of tail so i wasn't sure exactly Anyway, so that was kind of cool. And then just about an hour, hour and a half before we got home, a black bear ran across the highway right in front of us. Very exciting. Very exciting to uh, wrap up this amazing vacation. But I had a great time. Did you have a great time? It was awesome. Excellent. Thanks, guys, for hanging out with us. And uh, we have to now just grab our toiletry kits, get inside, brush our teeth, go to bed, and then unpack the stuff tomorrow because we are way too tired. I oh. think we did like a 12-hour day today. So Yeah, long day today. Long day. Anyway, guys, thanks for hanging out with us. We really appreciate it, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye. Bye.